Hello, this is uh, Tom Zebbefeld from uh, Graphilion uh, with a short uh, uh, illustration of what you can do in combination with Neo4j, APOC, the APOC library, um, Graphilion uh, on, in the field of uh, graph algorithms. I just created a, a small example uh, on uh, label propagation. Well, label propagation, uh, as is explained uh, in many places, but also at the Neo4j website, that's an algorithm for finding communities without just using the network structure alone. So no other functions or information about the communities. Um, so we here we have, um, uh, let's say, a network. Just, so just a network of people that, uh, or entities that know each other. Uh, some of them are named, other ones are not named. And so when I now run the, uh, the uh, apply the um, graph algorithm, the level propagation uh, algorithm, it calculates, it does about uh, a couple of thousand um, sweeps, and then you have here the, um, uh, the result. So it detects automatically all the community based on this algorithm. I can make it a little bit clearer. Spread them a little bit. So this is, uh, uh, this is um, uh, the result. It's a quick and dirty uh, algorithm. Um, so how is this done in uh, Graphilion? Okay, let's look at the functions. <clears throat> okay, here we have our, uh, our what we call our uh, interaction logic. Well, this is me. I have a dashboard which is called graph algorithms and so this is all the links all the nodes that are linked to me are, show up as um, as a, a, a dashboard over here this dashboard has a shortcut with the name label propagation so this is the shortcut and this one runs a very simple query it gets all the LP notes, LP uh, for all the notes that I created for this label propagation example. So, and it is uh, output to uh, to a contain to a so-called network view, and this one network view has an does it have an instance? Um, so, this one is uh, uh, sent to the network view, and this network view, which is Which is this? Which is uh, this one? Uh, it has a batch trigger. Um, it has actually two batch triggers: one over here and one over here. And the batch triggers they fire help the community. They fire uh, another query, and these are uh, the queries that are uh, that are uh, used to calculate uh, the result. Well, first I have to do some some management to so remove existing groups, and in another query which I can trigger by the result of the first query. This is actually what does the trick. It's a built-in uh, algorithm in the uh, APOC library. And then last query gets the results and displays it to, uh, to the network view. So what we do here is uh, um, we use our virtual node mechanism. So in fact, I create structures that mimic uh, the structure of a node, as it would have been uh, a return directly from uh, from Neo4j, um, but everything that looks like a node is displayed at a node. We are, what I do is I I add another another uh, um, uh, property group code, which I calculate based on the result of the uh, of the graph algorithm. Uh, and then, of course, it should still be uh, be colored. We still need to to explain the coloring. Um, well, if you look at, uh, at our styling, so let's have here, for instance, uh, the styling. So we have, for instance, the, pick, the, 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 uh, the pink node. They have three what we call selectors. So there's style for node, there's style for LP, and there's style for any element that has a group code equals six properties. Property. So this is, and it's a cascading system. So you will see that all the group codes are in here with all their specific uh, specific cores, and that's what makes it uh, make uh, the color appear. That's how we do the styling. 
So you can even style uh, based on, on pure virtual nodes. Uh, well, this was it. Of course, you can uh, you can apply you can put any graph algorithm or um, uh, that you want. Uh, there are more in there in uh, in the um, uh, in the the new 4 j uh, uh, documentation. Uh, all kinds of algorithm, and we will gradually we will uh, implement more of them and show some more examples. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day.